What's going on, everybody? It's your man, LP, of course, hitting you with another exclusive. Believe it or not, I got V Ice with me, Vanilla Ice, Rob, whatever you want to call him. What's up, man? Oh, ain't nothing to it, man. Good to be here, bro. Because I was the first one out of the gate as far as, you know, white rappers and stuff like that. So, you know, there wasn't anybody to use as a guideline before me. Okay. So, He's ambassador. Okay. Yeah, ambassador. I'm standing up for it, man. The music industry, man. Music really isn't about color. Yeah, I play, I play, I play hip hop, not white hip hop. You know, I was influenced by Roger Trapman, man. You know, and Zap, and Harlem, and Funkadelic, George Clinton, you know, the Gap Band. So I was into the funk thing, you know. It influenced me. And then when Breakdancing came out, man, uh, with, with uh, Egyptian Lover, remember that? Yeah, Egypt, Egypt. Man, I was all about pulling the cardboard out, spinning on the head, and, you know, okay. just the whole in the scene. So I paid my dues. I got my influences just like any black, white, Puerto Rican, or Jewish uh, musician would, you know. All right. Uh, so <laughs> people comparing the colors and stuff, it's really just kind of a joke. It, it, it's not about color. Music has no color to it. It's kind of annoying to me because it's kind of artificial music, and everybody's, you know, buying it. You know, when I say artificial, I mean, you know, there's another producer, another writer, somebody choreographing it. You know, they're, they're paid very heavily. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's artificial kind of in, 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 in that respect. But, uh, and hold on. Let me remind you, you just said that it's uh, kind of fake. Wait. Artificial. I, uh, artificial. But I remember you back in the day. You had the hair. Right. You had the choreographed steps and all that. So for somebody. No, 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 no. There's a difference there. Okay. I was thrown into that mix. You gotta understand, everything I wrote, it's all my stuff. It's yeah. all my lyrics, all my stuff. All the dance moves, nobody taught me any of that stuff. Right. I was the choreographer, I did it all. Okay. But here's the difference. This is when I said the politics didn't come involved. I was paid heavily uh, to wear these baggy pants that I didn't want to wear. They tried to dress me up like MC Hammer because Hammer was hot at the time. They wanted to make me cater to the young kids because young kids are the ones who buy all the records. Uh, you can sell them at Kmart, Walmart, and all that. You're gonna sell home records like that, right? Uh, with me, I was turned into that, and the image overpowered the music for the first time, because I was the first white rapper to cross hip-hop, not white, take the white thing out of the first rapper ever to cross, cross over the hip-hop market. So I introduced hip-hop to people's ears who have never considered listening to it, which is middle America, mainstream America. So everybody today from Wu-Tang Clan to uh, Jay-Z and all of them, you know, they got 75% white kids at their shows. 75% of their record sales are to white kids. That's all a result of me introducing hip-hop to those people's ears. And now they, they capitalized on it, and now they're getting paid on it. So there's a big, big impact that Vanilla Ice has laid here, whether you want to recognize it or not, whether you want to play or hate or not, whether right. positive or negative, you cannot deny the impact of okay. the space of time that I own. You talked on the money. You said, I made a lot of money. So that's why I wore the pants and had the image that they wanted me to have. Let's talk about the money. How much did you actually make back in the day? Let me just say it was like a faucet left on. The other thing everybody always brings up is Suge Knight. And everybody has one version of the story stuck in their head or whatever. Did you want to clear up any of that? The money that he took from me back in the day uh, basically was used to fund the Chronic record, uh, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, you know, the whole Death Row project, everything. Look at all the, the great music that has came from the you money. Know what? No doubt. And nobody ever associated me with gangster rap or nothing, but I'm the, you know, the, 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 you know, the person that funded the whole Death Row project, which is amazing. So if you, I look at it in a positive way, you know, I'm not bitter about it or anything. I look at it like I've contributed to some of the best hip-hop music in the world, man, ever, forever. It's timeless. 